that's something going on. They sprinted for their lives, men and women hostages no more, fleeing with their arms aloft. Heavily armed police watched this man's break for safety. After a terrifying 16 hours, he showed he was no threat and was helped away. Before the officers were given their cue to move in. They had all the exits covered, the hostage taker and some hostages still inside, gunshots and grenade bangs rang out. This, the horrifying view from a nearby television station. It is understood that there was gunfire inside the coffee shop before they decided to storm it. About 11 hostages ran out before police went in, but as police went in it was extremely, extremely dramatic. There was gunfire left, right and centre. The, the night sky was honestly lit up. It was something unbelievable. You only ever see this in training videos or, or on the movies. But uh, inside, they, they stormed the building. And at this stage, we have an unconfirmed report that there are a number of casualties. After minutes that felt so much longer, New South Wales police confirmed in a simple tweet, the siege is over. Paramedics were on hand. Reports say six or seven hostages are injured. One is thought to have been killed by the man who started it all, also said to be dead. This is man Haron Monis inside the Lint Cafe earlier in the day. You can see the black bandana, the gun slung over his shoulder. He told police he had bombs in the cafe and nearby in the busy Sydney business district. Two hostages held the black... Two hostages held the black flag, the Islamic declaration of faith. The slogan translates to, there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of God. They stood for hours, forced up against the glass. On a terrifying day, the day Australia faced up to terrorism on its soil. Tessa Chapman, Five News.